Hey guys, this is Jam of JamOnline.ph and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna unbox and take a closer look at this one. So this is the Huawei MateBook 14 with AMD Ryzen 4000 inside. So yes, this one is quite exciting because for the first time I believe uh, this is the first um, Huawei notebook here in the Philippines to come with the Ryzen 4000 um, CPU. So this one comes with the Ryzen 4000 4600H yes with the h uh cpu and this one is quite powerful and we also got here 16 gigs of ram 512 gigs of um, ssd and yes a 14 inch display so what are we waiting for so let's unbox and let's take a closer look at this notebook okay so first we got here the manual and the warranty card we also got here the 65 watts charger with USB-C port. The USB-C to USB-C cable. So basically this one has a similar charger to the Huawei MateBook D14 that we've also reviewed um, a few months ago. Oof. And here we go. We got here the uh, Huawei MateBook 14 AMD 2020. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, so the notebook doesn't have a charge. So before we proceed, let me charge the notebook first. So we've set up uh, the Huawei MateBook 14 AMD 2020. And as you can see in here, uh, the notebook does look similar to the previous um, Huawei notebooks that we have unboxed before. We got here an aluminum or metal uh, body over here. It's really premium with the Huawei logo in the middle. Uh, this one isn't that thin enough, I mean, compared to the uh, Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020, I believe. But this one comes with a heavier 1.49 kilograms weight. I'm, not, I'm still fine with it. I mean, as long as this one uh, won't pass the 2 kilograms mark, I'm, I'm fine with this one. Actually, um, this one is just the perfect uh, size for a notebook for me. I mean, aside from the weight, the dimensions. Another thing is that uh, this notebook does come with a 3 by 2 um, aspect ratio. I actually prefer having a 3 by 2 display aspect ratio as I can have um, better multitasking with this one. If I'm opening two windows side by side, I have a better um, aspect ratio on those applications. Okay, so um, just like the other Huawei notebooks, we also got here the recess camera. So yes, you need to press that button here in the keyboard to uh, make that recess camera appear. And the keyboard is just fine. I mean, it's actually not that good, but it's not that bad. And for me, um, it's quite annoying that, that the keyboard is kind of mushy. So we also got here a, a pretty large um, touchpad over here and yes it does support multi-touch if you want and unfortunately there's no touch screen on the display of this notebook so yeah I'm still fine with this one I mean look at that it's glossy it's nice but there's no touch screen but I'm actually fine with that one I've been using different Windows notebooks without touch screen and I'm having no problems at all when I'm using those notebooks anyway this one comes with this processor you can see that over here, there's the sticker. It's the AMD Ryzen 5 4600H. I haven't um, tested it yet, I haven't benchmarked this one yet, but I'm expecting that this one would have a, um, a leap when it comes to performance compared to the Huawei MateBook D15 that we have reviewed months ago. That one comes with a Ryzen 3000 series processor. This one is Ryzen 4000, we got better graphics. We also got here a better processor and better power efficiency compared to the D15. Another thing to love about this notebook is that we got here this power button. So this power button is actually uh, housing the fingerprint scanner of the notebook. So yes, you can unlock the notebook uh, by just placing your finger on the power button of this notebook. So when it comes to ports, this one is kind of generous. We got here two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 on the right. On the other side, we got here the USB-C, which also um, stands as the uh, charging port for the notebook, which is, by the way, a 65 watts charger. And also we got here the audio uh, combo jack and also the HDMI. So yes, there's no additional USB-C port on this one. Unfortunately, there's no SD card reader on uh, the Huawei MateBook 14. So yeah, for some photographers, they, they might miss that one. Anyway, um, I'm still loving uh, the Huawei MateBook 14 AMD. Uh, maybe because of, look at that bezel. It's really thin. The 2K display, it's really 
nice and of course just like the other huawei uh notebooks this one will come with huawei share which means that if you got here a huawei compatible um smartphone i can actually um use the huawei share and connect my smartphone to the notebook and yes you can mirror your smartphone to your notebook so you can have a better productivity you can type in your documents or your office work and of course mirror your display on the notebook which is really good and if you have a huawei smartphone the ecosystem is just amazing so the huawei matebook 14 2020 is quite amazing i mean they got here an amd ryzen 4600h processor Finally, we also got your 16 gigs of RAM. I think that is more than enough for most people. And then, of course, we also got here a, uh, again, a really nice display, a 2K display. Unfortunately, the variant that, uh, that is coming here in the Philippines doesn't come with a touch screen. But for me, I'm fine with that one. We also got here the fingerprint scanner. So, yes, you can unlock your notebook really fast and the ports are decent enough we got usb-c and we got uses usb-a and hdmi unfortunately no card reader over here when it comes to ports this one is quite decent enough i mean we got two usb-a and of course we got here a usb-c which can also be used for charging the keyboard might look fine but it's kind of mushy it's soft the travel distance is not that good for me and but we got here a backlit keyboard so yes you can work even at dark before you go to your bed you don't have any lights that's fine we got your backlit keyboard for the battery this one comes with a 56 watt hour battery i'm not sure yet how uh, this one will perform when it comes to battery i mean i'm expecting that this one would have a better battery life compared to the d15 since that notebook does have a terrible processor it's a ryzen 3000 but this one it's a Ryzen 4600H. I expect it to have a better performance and of course, better efficiency. So yeah, I guess that's it for our unboxing and hands-on of the Huawei MateBook 14 with AMD Ryzen 4600H processor inside. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of the latest videos here at my YouTube channel. So once again, I am John of JamOnline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again on my next video.